there's one habit in R6 that so many people have, but it is quite literally one of the worst possible things that you can do in all of R6. And that habit is baiting. Baiting is one thing that just disturbs me to my core, man. It makes me so frustrated because it's, it's not the solution to get better. It's not the solution to win rounds. It's the only solution is to pad your stats and boost your ego. And that is dumb. So if you want to win in R6 more, you actually want to win. You don't care about your stats and you just want to win the game. This video might be able to help out. We were playing Glaz and Smoke today. Uh, I was trying to prove that Glaz was an underrated operator. Uh, and then Smoke is kind of like the counter Glaz. So we're going to play him, him as well, just for fun. Uh, so we got some Smoke and Glass tips as well in here. And uh, overall, I, I think it was a good game and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. The game just started and they only have four people on their team. Oh, all right. All right, they got five, I guess, now. Heck, heck yeah, heck yeah. We played a lot of Border today. Uh, I did stream live on Twitch today. If you guys don't know, I do stream occasionally on Twitch, which you can also get my charm by subscribing on Twitch to get my in-game charm, which I use on every gun. If you want to take a look at my guns today, they're pretty sick. I have pretty sick charm on them. So that's going to be sick. Now, we are on Clubhouse. Not the ideal glass map. But that will not stop us from making ultimate epic glass plays. Right after the three defense rails where we slam them with Smoke, uh, who is really good on Clubhouse. Smoke is an operator that you can play on literally every map, every site, and he will never be a bad pick. And he's one of the top picks for all of them. Like, there's never going to be a bad save time five, to pick save him five, save because five, he's just five. a top. He's a top tier operator. What is this? Hung guy? Uncle. What, what's up? Say five. Say five in chat. I don't have chat on. <laughs> Fuck. Uru, onnichan. Wallace is yapping. He is hungry. He should get fed. Classic Can Wallace moment. Person? Okay, I don't know what these guys are saying. I'm just going to mute them and focus and play my game, you know? I'm just going to play my game. We're going to play some smoke, play some glass. Uh, what was I saying? Smoke's great on, like, literally every, every site, every map. Top pick. Like, top pick on every site and every map. Not even, like, okay. Like, very, very strong on every site and every map. Uh, so you can't go wrong with just getting really, really good at smoke because he is an operator that you can play literally all the time and always be useful. Like we can compare that to someone like Grim or Brava where like they can be really strong against the right lineup or on the right sites, but sometimes they're just like not as useful, right? Not the case with smoke. Always useful, always good, always a playmaker. Um, there's always going to be a spot in the lineup for a smoke, okay? And then there's just nobody will go, oh my God, dude, get off smoke. Why are we playing smoke? Never, never in your life. Tachanka? Maybe. Kind of ass. Uh, what? Say what? You just say Tachanka bad? Oh my god, he said Tachanka bad. Yeah, I did. I did. His ability, at least. His gun, you know, it tears through people. It tears through people. I can't lie. I'm not gonna hate on the gun. If you're picking people for just their gun, you got you got bigger fish to fry, my boys. We gotta be picking off for the utility. Okay? Utility is everything. That's the only difference between being, a, being mediocre at the game and being excellent at the game is the amount of utility you can use and how you can use your utility to get kills, make plays, and more importantly, win rounds. Because that's what we're trying to do. You want to get to champion, you got to freaking win, dude. You're not going to get to champion by getting kills, okay? You're going to get champion by winning games. Anybody can sit and spawn and bait for kills. It's not going to win you games, boys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're gonna reinforce some walls, open up the con hatch so we can drop down here if we need to. We should set up cash, probably. I'm gonna make a rotate here and actually hold this. I'm gonna play aggressively with the smoke here. Do a little smoke realm, put some barbed wire on my red. If you come up red, boom, smoke it or shotgun them, one of the two, either or. And then I can hold in the push from the breach with my shotgun. If they don't come to the window, I can just shotgun them here. Uh, you wanna use the smokes to get into that close range with the shotgun so that you can pump them. You wanna be pumping as many dudes as you can. Um, you know, if you can pump all five guys at the same time, that's that would be crazy. That would be impressive. And uh, honestly, why not? Just do it. If you can pump five guys, if you're in that opportunity, then you should, right? I want to get rid of their info here, shoot the drones. They're getting this con single, so I'm actually going to back up and go back to site. I don't want to get completely cut off. I can go play that Logi Mira because we don't have anyone playing it. Fill the space, fill the gap. Hatch is open, but I am chilling. You know why? I pump you. Zach, why? Look at me. I'm so prepared. I'm even more prepared to pump in my life. This guy's on the roof. I'm going to help my teammate here. I can smoke this off and pick him up. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. I'm going to peek this. I cannot see him. Okay, that's unfortunate. Felt like we need a pick back there. Especially since I had the cover of the smoke. I thought I'd be able to get the win the fight on him, but he saw me pretty obviously there. 
Plus, they had a lot of pressure, right? They had Conwall open. They have CC control. They have main breach open. Yo, Buck's close left. Close left. He's swinging. He's swinging. Wow, unfortunate. Up something. Oh, Logi door. Logi door. Unfortunate. Well, rough start. Rough start. You can tell they really applied a lot of pressure. They opened up Conwall. Open up Logi hatch. Open up Jacuzzi wall. They open up CC wall. They were CC windows. They were working site windows. That's why I'm not a fan of gym because once they start opening a lot of different angles, you are completely screwed. Uh, especially when you don't have like wall denial at all. I don't think we brought any wall denial there. So they just open up everything for free. So wall denial there is very important. Wall denial clubhouse is very important. And that's why also hard breaching is very important because of both reasons. Wall denial is important because keeping the walls shut is very important. But then hard breaching is important because opening the walls on your attacks is very important. So that's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need wall denial on basement. You can let them just get the hatches and do a bunker or do a roam or whatever. Um, and on those top floor sites, the wall denial is going to be very, very important. All right, so we're gonna make a blue rotate here. And the reason we make this is so you can actually hold blue and not give it up for free. If you reinforce off all the blue, it's very easy for them to push up and take sight and get a pinch from dirt as well. So opening this up makes a lot of pressure onto blue where it makes it difficult for them to actually push it, especially with like no utility. And then we have these footholds so that we can hold like the secret push from back here. So if they do try to come down secret, I have the angle on. You see, I can see Fenry's legs. He can't see me. Reby, and it's even better when you just crouch behind that. You don't even have to go prone, which is nice. We have the barbed wire over here. I'm going to get this drone, clear out their info. Getting rid of info is very, very important. I have some barbed wire for here, over here so I know if they're trying to rat up the hallway. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't think we got the hatches. My team actually didn't. We didn't even get hatches, boys. My team is really slacking in the setup department here. I'm trying to do as much as I can with the... Oh, gosh. This is bad. Seven walls. Nothing reinforced. I could go for kitchen hatch. I have my smoke, so I can use them to get out if I need to. I'm going to try to get kitchen hatch. Hopefully, I don't die. A little risky, but definitely worth it because it's one of the most important parts of this setup. Uh, bar hatch would be nice, too, but it looks like we're just going to have to hit a stinky roam because we can't give this up now because they're just going to open everything. That's gonna suck. I'm just gonna play shotgun here if someone walks through the strip, free pump, use my spokes to get back down main if I need to. <clears throat> Let's play off the info, play off the sound. Can we hear? Can you hear what I hear? Maybe. I'm joining out stage, it sounds like, so I'm back up. They did shoot the bar thing. I don't think they're coming to strip at this point. It's been a while. I'll help my teammate. On the on stage, on stage. Oh, I accidentally hit E or something. I don't know what I just did. I just fat fingered my keyboard. I didn't pull well, the trigger, that's for sure. All right, so we, because of our poor setup, roaming and bar makes sense, because that way we can kill them before they actually get to the point where like opening up the site and pressure new site works. And because my Malusi was already roaming over here, I can just support him. I can just play with him. Looks like he's about to kill. Wait, how did he know he left? That might be cheating. Uh, 1.3, 4KD, 65% win rate. I didn't hear the Finkel leave. Maybe he did. Maybe my ears are just fucking broken. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, our team could be cheating. This guy's at 1.7, too. Uh, that was a little, that was a, I'm a little, that was a little weird. I didn't hear him leave, but maybe he did. If he heard him laugh, leave, then it's like, not that sus, but. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're on the smoke grind. That's all that matters right now, is we're grinding smoke. We're, we're slamming on smoke. Um, obviously, I'm not really doing that currently, but that's, you know. We're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I also haven't played Smoke in a while. I feel like Smoke is definitely an operator in like the SMG uh, 12, SMG 11. I feel like the SMG 11 is definitely um, a gun that the the more you use it, it, it's really, you can get rusty on it really quick. So if you're not playing it at all and you're used to like the recoil of all the other guns, it's going to feel really bad at first. But if you get on it for a couple of games, like like four or five games and you and you've played it before like the more you play it the better you'll get with it and that only spirals when you run it back to 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 back so if you just keep going if you just keep going you'll become the greatest smg weapon player ever and it'll be better than any other gun in the game which is pretty sick my teammate also said if you're cheating okay well who knows my teammate's sus i'm sus you never know you never know I think these are actually from Xbox. I think that's the like most people from Xbox put the little O's in front of their name. So that could be that could be the case. Five seconds left. I could play like a little master roam. 
which I like to do on smoke as well because you have that shotgun and if they don't a lot of people don't drone master they just come through it thinking it's clear hoping to take construction and if that's the case I can get like a little shotgun pump to the chest for free because the shotgun's gonna one pump people at this range right like I just sit here or here or wherever and just kabloomy me their, their chest little blow little chesticle steam out of there that's a good way to do it that's a good way to get get a free kill off start a lot of people maru in here too no drone and just hope for the best now we bucked the lodgy wall i'm gonna try to sneak down main so he doesn't see me Be advised, off he did not buck what did i hear him buck dude i'm just literally hearing shit apparently i'm gonna open this so he's worried about me flanking from it and then i'm just gonna watch man oh we bucked the hatch insane gameplay um Terrible droning from the buck. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, they opened up this wall as well. The reinforced lodgy wall, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to smoke this off so I don't get pushed from it. And I can swing the con window if there's a guy there. 5v2, so I don't really need to play aggressive. He's sitting on the roof. This guy is being completely useless. Don't do this. If you're doing this, you're you're just going to lose the round. Like, that's why they're in a 5v2 off the start. is because they're not getting any support from their actual teammates. Like, this guy on the roof, he's actually being useless while his whole team gets slaughtered. So, you just don't do it. I mean... You know, it's a little annoying because I died to it, and it's like, yeah, this guy's padding his stats. They're not winning the round from it. Like, it's not it's not helping him win the round. The only chance, the only way that helps him win the round is if the rest of my team also, like, walk out and peek and, like, play aggressively, which most of the time they won't. I mean, if your teammates are doing that, I would recommend just playing safe and not being aggressive at all. Oh, my God. Okay, they might win. You know what? Call me, cra call me crazy because they might actually win. Um... But the point of it is what, like, essentially, eventually, at some point, they're going to have to push. Like, we're not going to throw a 2v2. We're not going to run the bodies at them anymore. So, at some point, they actually have to push, but they don't have any control gathered because he spent the first half, minute and a half sitting on the roof, essentially, doing nothing. And it's like, your whole team's dead. Like, how many times do you actually win a 5v2? Like, it's just you want to put yourself into positions where you have man advantage and have the advantage. And by sitting on the roof, you're hoping that your whole team doesn't get smoked. But they're a man down, and they're doing it with less people, so it's going to be a lot harder. Red hall, red hall, red hall. Coming to the rotate. And there you go. Eventually they pushed. We still had all our cameras up because they didn't get the chance to drone sight. They didn't even drone sight because, you know, maybe they didn't have the utility or they didn't have the time because they wasted all their fucking time sitting on the roof. Who knows? But, well, sorry, it's just stupid. It's just stupid to sit there and hold a passive angle. It's not even an active angle. That's the worst part is the angle this guy is holding is only for the small chance that someone walks and peeks the con window exactly how I did right up in it. I could have easily left and gone back to site and that guy won't see me and won't be able to kill me. So like, he's also just hoping, he's just praying somebody peeks. Like if you're just praying somebody does something in order to win the round, it's not a good strategy. You shouldn't rely on people doing really dumb stuff. If you're relying on the other team being dumb, then like you're only gonna beat dumb players. When you play good players, what are you gonna do? So you got to train, you got to train yourself and play to be able to beat bad players and good players. And how do you do that? You make plays and you do things that don't rely on the other team to be really, really bad. You use your utility to outplay people. You be aggressive. You take space. You take control. You use drones. You get info. And you push up off of that info and you use that info to your advantage, right? You can't do that by sitting on the roof doing literally nothing. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not like... And there's going to be people like, well, you died to it. You died to it. So clearly it was good. That's not how that works. That's, that's, that doesn't make any sense. You know? Because. I'm going to explain this. I'm going to explain this in a calm, in a calm manner. Okay. Let's say, let's say you poop your pants. Okay. This is always a good place to start at if you poop your pants and then uh by the odd chance you pooping your pants saves a person's life because when you poop your pants they like back away because that shit stank right and they back away and they actually dodge a car that was about to hit them because they backed away because you poop your pants are you gonna say pooping your pants save lives are you gonna say that like i need to poop my pants more often like, are you going to say that pooping your pants is the best way to save a guy from a car cra from getting run over by a car? I didn't think so, dude. I didn't think so. That was really unfortunate. I waited just a second, or a, a second too soon. He kind of 
Did he see me on the replay? I know he saw me in the smoke grenade, which is also insane, the fact that my smoke grenade covered me, but... I know I saw him a little bit, but I don't think he saw me when, when I was there. I think he just pre-fired it because he saw the smoke grenade, honestly. And then once I was in the smoke grenade, he could actually aim at me. Did we... Oh, that guy's down. Nice. All right, well, uh, sorry. Anyway, so I was a little triggered talking about too much. I was talking about something that was irrelevant and should have been focused up. I was just kind of being stupid there. Next round, we'll lock in on the glass, okay? <laughs> well, the story. That guy's bad for sitting on the roof. That's all we need to know. There's a Guma in this guy's door. He could shoot it and walk in at this guy. Uh, they might could kill this guy as well. They're playing so slowly. I think they're playing on controller. I think I think these uh, exo guys are on controllers still. Metal cheating? No, no, nobody's cheating, buddy. Nobody's cheating. Everybody, calm down. Nobody's cheating. Uh, I think these guys are from Xbox and they're just on controllers, so that makes sense that he heard the Finca because I think I think people on Xbox just ha like can hear better. I think they're so used to like terrible console audio that when they come to PC, they're like, oh my god, and they feel like they're like gifted with audio because like it actually works. And then they also have their crazy like eight hundred dollar headsets from Xbox that they use. And they have it blasted up to like 10,000 decibels. So that's probably, that's probably why you heard the Finca. So my team, I don't think my team's cheating. Moral of the story. Moral of the story, we run it back on glass and we do it way better this time, okay? Now they, one gym. So they'll probably go basement. If they went gym first, they might go basement now. People that go gym first, go basement second. That's pretty much how it works. And they're also weird. They went CC, okay, well. They're still weird, okay? They're still weird for going gym first. But, but, Pox, Athena says you gotta go gym first and then CCTV is the worst site. Rawr. I, I disagree. I think gym is easier because there's so many ways to pick people off from the windows, um, from opening up the outer walls, Logi hatch. Like, there's so many direct pushes onto gym, whereas CC, you actually have to open stuff and take control in order for it to be, a, like... A decent site, in my opinion. Five I'm gonna spawn over here, pick up my drone, go to Logi Hatch, open the Logi Hatch, open up server window. Might be able to smoke off server window and hop in and make a play. Just make sure I shoot the frost mat if I do that. Uh, the con single soft, by the way, Buck. If you want to buck it or ash it, let them know. I might team muted just because they were being annoying off the start, but never mind. They reinforced it now. I could unmute them. They're probably actually calling out. But that would ruin my epic glass gaming experience, you know? We have the main breach open, so we can actually be aggressive on this. Which would be... Wow. Wow. Wow, that was a crazy C4. What was the point? All for what? Uh, this guy opened the wrong side. You want to make sure you open the right side. Otherwise, they can tuck themselves on this wall. And it's very, very dangerous. Especially if you're trying to walk in a garage. Now, what I can do is I could smoke this off. And peek the Raptors guy. Or the red guys. I'm gonna try to play aggressive off the smoke grenade again. Oh, I hear a walk through the prisma. Oh, the PMM out. Oh, we let him cross, dude. I had two guys on the breach. He's behind the server rack. Two guys on the breach and he let him cross. He's playing a little too passive. One's behind the server rack and the other one's cash. You can literally go garage. He ran back. Red and cash. You can go plant server rack. I can call the push. Pushing, pushing, uh, ping three. One nice. Four remaining. Last one's a uh, cash door as well. Radio door, radio door. I, I didn't mean. Get off, get off, get off. Nice. <coughs> Gotta tell him to get off the plant because Thermite is whiffing. Uh, terrible cover there by the team when I was in sight, but that's fine. You know, we got that, we got that one pick on the frost. Probably should have killed the Legion as well, to be honest. Um,. But yeah, that's how you want to play glass. You want to use the smokes to actually push in and take control and then just look around. Like, sit in your smoke grenade, look around. If you can find a guy, kill him. You know, you see a banana person, you kill him. Uh, you do have to sit a little still once you actually push in so it fully recharges so you can see a little better. But right there, if there's a guy rafters, he's dead. That, that rafters guy would be dead. 
because I can just walk into sight. If there's a guy red holding the cross, he's dead, you know, sniped in the smoke grenade. Then Raptors guy sniped dead. Then Legion shoot him in the toe once, you know, put the pressure on him. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't expecting that guy to be able to cross. I honestly thought I had the PMN p- pistol too, which I would have been able to aim faster and maybe have been able to actually kill that alibi if I had the PMM on. But I think bearing nine is probably better overall to use. But the PMM is like one of the best pistols. I'll use it this round just for fun. Um, we'll see if we actually get to a point where we can use it. Plus like the DMR, like if you really wanted something, um, you could use the DMR. But the nice thing about the PMM is Glaz is uh, a three speed. I just want to double check because it wasn't 100%. Is a three speed, and then with the PMM, you can get so aggressive and be so fast. That's actually kind of nuts. You can just quick scope, snipe, like pull that pull that pistol out and start beaming them. It's pretty huge. Now it's gonna be basement, so I could try to walk down blue with my smokes and work into armory. I could go dirt if we had, if we get it open, which I'm not sure if we will. I do have this mirror, which is nice because I can smoke it off. Valkyrie Legion, Valkam Church, lots of info we're getting here. Lots of things we need to be aware of and know of. I'm probably just going to come down secret and try to uh, take control of blue. Oh, these guys are just sending it in there very quickly. Nobody on that mirror. You're good. He's box two. You must recover the Whole team got slaughtered secret. One guy flanking. That's why you want to wait and drone. I don't know why they went so quick. How did Grim survive? That's what I gotta know. I don't know what this guy is doing. Get up to the smoke grenade. Oh, didn't quite seal the gap. I don't know if he's reviving. This is a crazy play. All right, the impact grenade got me. If I could get that, like, not get that tiny smoke grenade chunk down, then I would have been fine. This is kind of the tough part about glass. Like, a site like this is one I would probably never pick glass on. Because the thing is, our whole team's pushing blue. Their whole team's going to be watching it, you know? If your whole team's pushing one direction, you don't have pressure from anywhere else. You don't open dirt tunnel. You don't open kitchen hatch. They're able to free roam that entire side of the map. They're f like, so they can hold church and everywhere in sight. And you're essentially pushing into this massive, like, choke point, which is blue. Um, now, it, it's, it can work with the smoke grenades. It's just a lot harder because you have so many eyes on you. Now, if we had dirt and kitchen open, then they can't sit everywhere in armory because they can't actually sit under that hatch. So it's important, and it would be very nice if, like, our Grim opened dirt or our Grim opened kitchen hatch, or we just had another hard breacher. And if this was the case and I wasn't playing glass, I probably would have picked a hard breacher, like Ace, and open up dirt and open up kitchen hatch and push wherever my team isn't pushing to apply Stop pressure in other areas to take the pressure off my team so that they can succeed easier. And then if the pressure is really hot on me, or if, if the pressure is really hot on me, I'm going to try to stay alive waste time and uh, keep that pressure on me so that my teammates can succeed and if there's no pressure on me at all i can make the play that wins the game right so it's very important to find the right spot to push and push where your teammates aren't when you're solo queue so that you can use that control to your advantage and use that pressure or lack of pressure um in order to actually win rounds this is a great play by buck to rotate through here unfortunate that buddy o got clapped he's on the blue door Armory door. Why did I call that blue? It's late at night, guys. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> I'm going golfing tomorrow. I have to record this now. I'm going golfing. If you're watching this video, I am actually. I probably just finished golf, and I probably did absolutely banging because the last golf game I played, absolutely horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. I, I went like double par. I was just getting ten on every hole. It was literally the worst golf game of my entire life and i've only been golfing for a year so like i'm not very good obviously to begin with but like this was like bad for me and that's i mean that's horrible for everyone but uh so that means because i did so bad i'm gonna do good tomorrow because like all the bad all the being bad at golf is out of my system now just like how when you play siege and you have a literal horrible day and you play complete dog water it means the next time you play you're gonna be great because you got all the dog water out of your system and you're your mind was your mind slept on it and it got better. Uh, right now I'm three and six, so I definitely need to pick up the pace here. Horrible glass gameplay, but that's all right, cause it's overtime. We'll have a we'll have our glass moment still. It's still bound to come, boys. We're gonna put the barber for red so they can't sneak up red. Open up these. A lot of people ask me too, like how do you stay consistent? Like how do you play so consistently well all the time? 
And like as you can see right now, I'm not. I'm not playing well. I'm three and six. I'm not playing horrible, but I'm not like playing. I'm not playing well, you know. Um, but the answer to consistency is making plays that work most of the time, right? You want things that logically add up to be like, I have the advantage. Putting the advantage into your favor. So that way when you have the advantage and you're playing well, you're going to win that like mo like pretty much all the time. The only time I really do bad is when I make bad plays or like I'm tired or not paying attention. However, there is times where you are putting all the advantage into your favor. You're making every right decision and you can still get pooped on or you're like not aiming well or whatever. But hopefully the idea at least is that the more you play smart and the more you play consistently to your advantage, the easier it would be to get kills. Um, especially, like... What am I trying to say? It's easier to get kills, like... over the course of a long, longer term, essentially. So, yeah, this Thermite's really messing us up. Like, the fact that we don't have any wall denial is kind of rough, but... we should be fine. You have to be careful that drone hole. So we're kind of all boxed in sight. Even the mute, I'm not sure what we muted because they didn't have an EMP at all. So, I mean, EMP or uh, muting the main reach would have been good, but Kate is so, so strong on Clubhouse. If you need a new offer club, just play Kate. Kate is nasty, um, especially with a Thatcher ban. On the Breach Repel, I'm just going to stay alive for now. I'm just going to play smart, kind of hold red, play passive. I'm just going to play for like late round, play for clutch, keep my body alive. I've, I've died every single round, so I just need to kind of slow it down here. Um, I can make the plays with this most when I need to, but right now I don't need to do anything besides just stay up, so we're going to do that. I just heard the EMP unit going to go off, so they do have those EMPs after all. I'm chilling. Let my teammates die. Let them do whatever they want. And make sure I'm alive for the late round to clutch it up if I need to. Because, you know, there's a, there's a, gonna be a time where I need to start shining, and that could be this round. Who knows? Capita's probably on the roof looking down through the con window right now. Should we check? So counter smoke the utility. What are you gonna do? Literally nothing. You're literally useless now. Wow, smoke is so good. He used two nades, and now he can't push. Alright, what are the odds this guy's on the roof? <laughs> He's not there, guy. <laughs> He's dead. He's finally dead. We'll do this since this guy was red just to scare him. I can use my smokes for just countering this. He's not going to be able to push. He's going to run out of time. And we got the kill. Nice. Okay. So, played it smarter. Played it better. Played it utility focused. Stayed alive. Got the job done. I was going to go rafters there just because he wouldn't have time to push up red, right, especially with the barb and three people stacked there. Uh, but we had nobody garage at that point, so I was going to fall through, make sure he doesn't come garage, smoke off garage stairs again. Um, yeah, we would have been chilling. Easy peasy round. All right. They're going to be gym. I'm not going to mess up. I'm going to play a safe, smart. I'm going to pick up my drone this time again because um, I want to get information for Logi and try to actually take that hatch. I can do it with a smoke grenade. You know, I can prone drop the hatch like that buck did that one round, except have a smoke grenade already down. So when I prone drop, they're only see me for a half second and then I'm just going to kill them through the smoke grenade um, because I can see them through it and they can't see me. And like, maybe that'll work. Or I could go with my team play it more passively, play it more like team base where like we open the jacuzzi wall, let's say, and I push in through there with my smoke grenades. I could do that as well, um, which would be pretty nice if we can get the wall open. Now they are gym, they're gym. Uh, let my team know, let my team know that they are gym. I'm gonna pick up my drone. Um, I was gonna say something, but now I kind of forget. So we could go Logi Hatch or Main Breach if we can get it open. Um, there's a nice angle we can actually get. I'm gonna just go over here to be dumb for a second and see if I can get a quick pick. Which is never a bad idea. If you have the time in the, in the start of the round, like you can go for that quick pick, you know? Get on that repel, peek a window real quick, see if you can find someone that's just absolutely free and caught off. Now this could this could kill me because I'm gonna get on the repel here. Somebody could technically be in strip impact the wall and kill me. Uh, which is a very viable strategy if you are playing gym a lot and you know that people like to push a koozie or you're just like predicting that they will. You listen for the repel, when you hear the repel, you just impact the wall free kill um this is something that would kill me it would just kill me every single time but people don't do it very often so i take the risk because it's worth it to get this wall open and potentially get a pick myself okay now this wall is soft which is kind of insane to me so now they know i'm on this repel so i kind of want to get off it because again they could go strip at any point now they have the mirror but not too worried about it 
Lodgy wall soft ash or jacuzzi. There's also gonna be a mirror, I think, here. Oh, there isn't. Okay, I'm gonna get up on the roof now. I spent enough time here. I'm not gonna wait for people to peek me. I'm not gonna hope people peek me. I'm not gonna pray people me peek me. I'm gonna make something happen with my info and my utility, okay? That's kind of the lesson of today. Use your utility to make shit happen. And I can do that right now on this Legion. Bomb has been located. Now we have launch control. Great. That's fantastic control that we didn't have before. Very, very good control. Now I got a drone for this Finca. He's kind of in my way, but that's cool. Now, this is where we're going. One's in gym and one's in bathroom. He's running to the B bomb. Yo, go to the window. You can kill oh, you dropped the hatch. Drop the hatch. I have another drone. Yeah, in the middle of the bed. Okay, that guy's left. Last time. I knew we could do it, guys. I knew we could do it. I ran out of ammo at the end there. Would have got both of them if I had more ammo. Okay, we made the play. We got control of Logi. From Logi, we use our drones to gather info and get kills. We need the control to get the kills. You start with the control, you use the info, you push and get kills. Info, control, info, kills. That's your play-by-play. -play. That's all you need, okay? Not a great example uh, in this game, but I think I think we, we showed off a lot. I think we could we can still really extrapolate a lot of information from the game, despite like not the best performance ever, just some really stupid, simple, sloppy mistakes that we could easily clean up, fine tune, and tweak to actually like, that could have been an easily in 10 kill game for me if I wasn't so sloppy about it, but. It's no, it's no problem, we won. We're gonna play another game on the games channel. Link in the description if you wanna go watch that. If not, we'll see you tomorrow, boys. Peace out. Actually, I won't be posting on Sunday. Or will I? I don't know, I guess we'll have to find out.